Welcome to my custom interloper run. I'm Nafo29, and here's what's in our backpack. We're a little underweight. Uh, we have some things. Uh, we have some repairs we gotta do. Uh, we have some raw meat. And a little bit of water. We have all three bows. We have 16 of you. You know what? You belong here. And there we go. We are day 108. And here's our skills. Ooh, fire starting. Couple more fires. And we'll have five. Uh, let me have you. You can hover right there. Alright, I wanted to rush through that. Okay. We are early morning. Alright, there we go. You hurry up. I wanted to uh, finish my intro before the meat was done. 32, 48, okay. That's, we'll only get two more pieces. Uh, let's, we have three pieces of cloth, but whatever. 22 minutes, let's go. All right, that's at 100. What was our mending at? It's in the fours, isn't it? Whoops, over here. Uh, mending. Yeah, it's low fours, but still. Do this. Ah, oh, dang it. I thought this was the one I put on second. <laughs> Alright. Uh, how much time? 15 minutes. Oh, okay, great. Let's do that. Whoops. Uh, we'll do that. 42 minutes. There we go. Uh, can we repair anything else? Uh, what do we have for leather? We have two. Uh, how long are you? 33. Whatever. Let's go. Alright, there we go. Three till melted. There we go. And we will use this and we will have lots of water. You were meant to stay in zone of contamination, ended up in Sundered Pass. Getting used to the cave system from the airfield to zone to Sundered. Didn't get lost. Your rope climbs are interesting. You have 40 coal. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. That ought to be fun. What do we have? We have 5 and it's 1.5, so 10 is 3. What is that, 12 kilograms of coal you're carrying? Alright, uh, let's eat. Make sure it's cooked. There we go. Uh, we have... Okay, we have just one of those, but that's fine. Oh, hey. Oh, okay, it's too late. Too late. All right, let's go. We have our deer hide here. We have our maple, we have a sports bow. What do I have for bows? I have the two bad ones. Oh, I have three kind of questionable. I'm going to go with that. I don't care. I I we'll have here. to come back past this area anyways. So we're today we're going to go over to uh, the trapper's cabin. See what's there. Then we're going to go through the dam and over to Pleasant Valley. And go looking for some coal, uh, not coal, uh, birch bark. What do we have for birch bark right now? We have nine that are crafted. And we're also trying to get a bear coat made. And we're going to want some arrows made as well. We have 18. I think the the worst arrow is getting close to, to ruining, so 
We kind of have like 17. Man, my morning started so bad today. I usually, I, I pre-make my coffee the night before, get everything going so that when I get up, I just go over, push the button and it's good. And apparently I forgot to put water in it. So I took Ruby out, I came inside and I was a little surprised because I thought, wow, that's usually not finished when I come in. I usually have time to feed the cats. So then I grabbed the pot. It wasn't as heavy as it should be. And I thought, uh oh, <laughs> oops. And then that was excusable because I mean, I was tired when I went to bed. And then I thought, all right, I filled the water reservoir. And I thought, you know what? Only a little bit of water went through those grounds. I'll just reuse them. It'll be a little weaker than normal, but it'll be fine, right? Nope. <laughs> Tasted like water. Tasted like dirty water. So right now I'm drinking instant coffee. You did similar yesterday, but forgot the coffee. <laughs> Isn't it annoying when you do something like that? It's like, oh man. I just wanted to wake up to one of these. Mer's been in full Greek mode, snacking on watermelon with some crumbly cheese, cucumbers, and olives. You do that stuff to your watermelon, it tastes perfect the way it is. Or do you mean like, you just have like separate bowls for all of them and eat some of here and some over there? I don't know. <laughs> Separate bowls, okay. Whew. That what is he making a paste? <laughs> Smearing it all over the watermelon. Smearing slash ruining the beautiful taste of watermelon. Oh, it's like my favorite. Oh, we're getting some birch bark. This is good. We got two bars of scent, so we kind of got to be on guard here, because there could be a bear, there could be a wolf. Who knows? Yeah, you grab a little here and have some from another. Okay, that's good. Oh boy, I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> trapper's cabin have inside it there's something on the floor i know that just what is on the floor i don't know i will be happy when this run is over because this is a little too far to come out to my main base in here i think it will we will be returning one day to the to the camp office We'll just try to figure a different way of making the run seem different.
All right, copper. Here we go. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. What do we have? Well, we need those. I'm I'm kind of glad I didn't bring that jerry can here. We have one bear hide. We need two. And we luckily have you. Uh, there we go. All right. Uh, let's get rid of these cans. Where can they go? Oh, bullets. Let's uh, deal with those now. Are you there? Put you there. Uh, we had one extra of these, didn't we? I think they should go on top, actually, but whatever. That's where they're going. Uh, what else do we have? We have an extra fire striker 77 50 50. I might leave two of the fire strikers here. Oh boy. <laughs> Just because they're close. Uh, what else is in here? You're at 28. You're our only one. I'll take you. Uh, we have all of those things. And I guess we'll get rid of these. So we have... Only nine, but we have 16 arrowheads. And luckily we have cloth. Luckily. All right, what else is in here? These are books that are not read. Are they not? Yes, they are. Uh, what are you? I have five coal, right? Yeah, okay, we're good there. Uh, well, let's, uh, oh, right. I wanted to get rid of the food items. Did I have them? Where did I put my food? I put it there, but I, that's the ingredient stuff. I guess you're going to be for food. All right. Um... Go A to Z. How much T? 5, 10, 15. Uh, I'm just going to take all of the coffee and all of the tea so I don't have to think. I just have. Come on. There we go. And sodas can go on this side, I guess. Oh, we want that, actually. Oh, right. I wanted to eat. I want to make sure I'm not eating that. I want to eat and drink, and then we're going to make some arrows. Yeah, I wanted to make some crampons. I don't know if I'm, if I'm going to do that yet. Uh, what do they require? What are they even called? Are they under this? Hand wraps, head wrap, insulation. Crampons. Four scrap metal. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's make some arrows. I think we're here for the night. And we'll drink again. And go.
go again. Get the rest that we can make. Oh, is it going to finish? Is it going to finish? Oh, thank you. All right, let's do that. Now it's dark. Interesting. All right, you can go there. What is the time? It is uh, kind of bedtime. <laughs> We're not ready for bed, though. We are not ready for bed. Uh, we can scrap you. And you. And combined with that one piece of scrap metal in there, that'll give us four. Oh, I guess we don't even need to. We'll just scrap this. I thought we only got two pieces out of this. Uh, well, you know what? We have to waste time anyway. Just get rid of it. Hey, XM. Welcome in. How you doing? Do that. Do I need all of that cloth? You're all in the 90s. No, I don't. Uh, I'm going to throw four. I'll keep one extra for some reason. And our bed should be right there. Cooked meat. That's what we're looking for. So we're in the good bed now. So we should wake up full condition. If we are able to get enough sleep. Well, we got full condition, but we didn't get as much sleep as I was hoping. Uh, we have two pieces of raw meat. We may as well... Let's do that. Where's the stove? There it is. Get this going. That'll help the fire starting skill. And once it's going, on, we I think we should be able to see the wood. I think. Perfect. Kind of. Right, that should be enough. Get you, get you, 25, 31. All right, that's all of it. Uh, 23 minutes. Can we repair anything? I don't really want to. I didn't want to use the leather. I really didn't, but I had to. All right, now we want one of you. That'll give us two. And we don't need anything else, really. All right, there we go. We got to eat. Today's word is rhapsodic. I like that word. I didn't have to think about it. All right, we're down to 41. What is the time? It's almost time. We do that. And now I think we can get an hour of sleep, which means extreme. Extravagantly enthusiastic and ecstatic. Interesting. Okay, now we can go. Uh, 
79. What's our knife at? 71. Well, I'm not going to fumble through that to try to pick up the middle knife and I'm just going to go. Um, I'm going to continue to take the, uh, the arrowheads and the feathers. There we go. And we'll drink up. All right. Now, are any of these, I really, you know what? I have books and I kind of like to have a book to read, but I have no interest in these books. Um, okay. Well, we have one bear hide here. What does the coat take? Four guts. Let's do that. Oh boy. Hey, look at you. <laughs> we got one bar of scent and we have no visibility. Which means kind of have to go this way because I know my way in the dark this way. I don't know it that way. I mean, I kind of know it that way, but... It can also refer to music, Rhapsodic. Merge like indeed. He tries not to add the other meanings. Oh, uh, so Mer just picks whichever meaning he likes the best. If there's multiples. He's trying to not confuse me. <laughs> Thanks, Mer. I appreciate it. I see you. I remember when I was trying to find all of those. There is too many. Thought I heard the bear. I probably do hear the bear. If you guys kindly shush. All right, where is, okay, you, so we gotta go this way. It's easier to get up the hill. Hey. I was looking at chat. Sorry, Hopper. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, we got another piece of birch bark. We are going to get a bunch of birch bark. That is the plan. We are getting a bunch in Pleasant Valley. At least that's what I hope. <laughs> we'll get there and there'll be a moose patrolling the area and a bear and we're like, okay, I guess we can't. And then blizzard after blizzard after blizzard, we'll get like six pieces. But the plan is to get as many as possible. Yeah, and then a green moose. Ooh, did it just get darker? Oh, we had yesterday morning. I should have told you yesterday. But we had the most beautiful sunrise yesterday morning. And because of where I live, all I can see is like the tops of houses so I could see like you know and power lines <laughs> but I could see like some red tint on the clouds and between the houses I could see darker red and I was like oh man I bet you that looks really nice 
Yeah, in real life. Exactly. It did. It sounded gorgeous. It looked like it could have been. But from where I was located, like I said, all I was looking at is little bits of it between the houses. And every once in a while we get like this great moon. Yeah, oh, and those nice bright full moons. But can't take a picture of it for two reasons actually. The first reason is because it's behind a bunch of power lines. <laughs> which doesn't, it kind of kills the whole thing. And this, the second reason is my wife and I both tried to take a picture of the moon with our phones. She has an Android, I have Apple, and neither of them will actually take a picture of the, of the moon. It'll, it'll just replace it with like a bright white dot. Which is sad. So I think you need a, a, a real camera. Yeah. There was a video that I watched before of, of them showing how you can uh, get your phone, you can trick your phone into thinking that it's taking a picture of the moon. And which was kind of interesting, which kind of just shows us, right? That the cameras on our phones aren't taking always pictures of reality. Sometimes they're making up their own reality, which is sad, but yeah, we got here right in time. Alrighty, what can we do in here now? Nothing, obviously. I don't know why I'm coming up here. I mean, we got to warm up, so we may as well bust that down. Uh, I did want to leave some of this wood here. Uh, actually, what am I doing? I can just read the book. I don't need to take you and waste my time with you. Let's just read the book. We are warm. Let's go. Maybe it's clear out now. Well, it's clearer. Um, uh, we gotta listen for some crows. Maybe we can get that one wolf. Yeah, it was actually nice. When we first came out there, yeah, the visibility was low, but it was still, it, it looked pretty nice. What is that? On... Are you a ptarmigan on the ice? What are you doing on the ice? Well... I, I couldn't take a shot on him because... You don't want the others to see that if they venture out, it just means death. Is that the wolf? Up there, maybe, and I think I saw something go right behind here. What did I see though? I saw a deer, okay, good. Well, the good news is I don't think it's as high up as I thought it was. I thought it might have been on top of the hill. Oh, look at you. There you go. Thank you. I'm going to make sure he doesn't have one. 
I'm gonna leave that feather there. When you scare off the ptarmigan, they'll fly. When you scare the ptarmigan, they will fly off, land somewhere random, and stay there. Really? Well, I still couldn't. He was in... I don't want him to have his last thoughts being, Oh man, that was a mistake. <laughs> I knew I should have kept flying. But I didn't realize that. I didn't. I thought once they just flew away, they just disappeared and went off into uh, the land of despawn. What do we have for birch bark now? We have 10 and... Oh, okay. 10 and a half. Uh, I'm going to leave the feathers here. This is an ongoing reminder to ourselves. Every time we go by that spot, we're like, oh yeah. We did that. Um, I have one of you and six. Okay, I need three more of these. I will bypass this one and go to that one because it's got three on it. And I will take these sticks while I'm at it. There we go. Quick and easy. Hey, jump in here just to make sure I've been in here. Oh, I haven't been in here. Oh. Oh, damn it. I don't want you. Okay. Wow. All those times I've just been walking right by it. I think I had reasons for it, though. Either too much weight or too much scent or a wolf in the area. But finally got it. Kind of makes me wonder about this little uh, cave-ish thing. I'm pretty sure I went in there, though. I don't think there's ever anything in there. It's just a triggered location. What's the time? Oh, yeah. Call me crazy, but I think we might find some more birch bark here. I would not be unhappy about that. I wouldn't even care. Sure. Let me find an odd number. I'll take an odd number for once and be happy with it. They're like, you will get none. <laughs> I mean, we did just take it, but I mean, I always thought like wind can make birch bark appear too. Windy days. Oh well. That only took a minute. Uh, copper, you're killing me. <laughs> you put wait you put cheese on your french toast
You do now? <laughs> Why? French toast is so good. Now I want French toast. Only the problem is when I went to the grocery store yesterday, they didn't have bread. I had to get like Kaiser buns. They were all out of their bakery bread. I know. I'm sure you have Safeway where you live, right? Like it's across Canada, I believe, right? Their bakery bread, I swear. I, I won't eat any other bread but their bakery bread. Kaiser buns would make a good savory French toast though. No, they wouldn't. No. They would make a ghetto French toast. <laughs> Like using a piece of bread as a hot dog bun. <laughs> it's not the same. You can't add a fancy word in there to justify it being better or even good. French toast, grilled cheese. Yeah, I, I see you're speaking my language, lady. I must send you an airline ticket. Like, get over here and cook me some French toast <laughs> and grilled cheese. Just don't mix them up, please. I, uh, I love grilled cheese more than I should. I don't care what anybody says. It is good. That's part of my food pickiness though, right? Oh, come on. I was literally stuck on there. I was like, uh oh. That's part of my food pickiness. Like, I get the fresh Safeway break bakery bread. Oh, we've already done that one. And I'm gonna eat before we go out. And for the first day, I, I've mentioned before, like, I could have steak or whatever, but if I, if, if the wife comes home with the fresh, fresh bakery bread, nope. I'm having ham sandwiches. <laughs> that is my supper. And then the day after, I will not use it as sandwich bread anymore. Then it has to be grilled cheese I mean technically that's a sandwich but you know what I mean you gotta try ham sandwiches ham sammies as french toast sammies no you can't make everything french toast based <laughs> I mean the world would probably be a better place if you did but you still can't French toast is amazing as it, as it sits. <laughs> no. Cuz that would just ruin some of my my food choices because I'd be like, "All right. What can I have today?" Well, I can't have grilled cheese. Can't have ham sandwiches. Just had those yesterday. Can't have French toast either, because you know what? Because I made all of my bread into French toast first. I'm going to let that wolf take the bunny. I don't want to use the bow. So you're, you're messing up three days worth of dinners. <laughs> Run to your death. I got two sticks for you. Beautiful. He went the right direction because I just didn't want to shoot. There you go, little bunny. Oh, great. No.
Well... Oh, son of a... That's on me, I just missed. And now I need another one of those. Hey, Darth, welcome in. A French toast ham sandwich is called a Monte Cristo. You've made them a million times. Is it really? That's not, that wasn't a food distraction there, Copper. That was just kind of a... When will it ever change in this game where you frighten off an animal? And you've actually frightened them off. They don't just run in the direction. You little bastard. Oh, I got stuck. Get out of here. I do, I do actually hope that that's like some, some sort of bug where the animals are running in the direction that you're going. Requiring you to countlessly scare them off. I'm going to take this one. Darth's in the house. There you go. Uh, that struggle wasn't... Oh my god, it brought him down to 59, 59. Oh my god, that was... Look at my condition, too. I should have shot him, but I thought, you know what? The whole reason for luring him to the rabbit was so I wouldn't have to shoot him. I could just scare him off. And he excited me by momentarily running in the opposite direction of where I was going. And then he came back and was like, oh, wait, I forgot. I have to run ahead of you. We shall dance once more. <laughs> and then he kicked my butt. Yeah, and then he ran through my legs. I was actually happy. Remember, I got attacked by a wolf that was in flight mode a few runs ago. So I'm, I'm always a little weary of a, a wolf in flight mode that's running a little bit too close to you. Because all of a sudden the game could be like, wait, are we attacking or are we in flight? Oh, let's just attack. And you're like, oh, come on. Copper feels bad for the rest of everyone, but she needs a knife of walk day. <laughs> well, it's not a lengthy walk, this one. It's a... Uh... Ooh, stacked sticks. Let's take them. Will we get some stacked coal? Who knows? Will we get any coal? We haven't been through here for a while, I think, right? Been a long time, hasn't it? Oh. Uh, I want the sticks for sure. Uh, the coal, I mean, I'm not going out of my way to look for it. I was trying to read. <laughs> That's true. We will be going back to the far, far, far. What is it called? Is it far branch or is it far range branch or? We'll be going far. Okay. That's, I know we'll go far. On our way back to Sundered Pass. But we are, we are gearing up. 
Is it far range branch line? I think is what it is, isn't it? Make sure we got you. All right, we got you. Um, hmm. I'm wondering if I should go up into Signal Hill first. Or if we should just walk. If I go up to Signal Hill, we're most likely going to encounter at least one wolf. Remember, we got we do have scent. Um, thing is, I don't know if I left anything there. Let's not go there because you know what? Even if I figure out what I left there, I'm still going to not remember what I left there. So I don't care. We want birch forest and we want to get to the farmhouse and then to the barn. Uh, actually, does the barn have anything in it? I'm thinking in my previous run where I had to do all of my crafting there. I don't know that I actually left anything there unless, I don't know. Why would I know? I'm just playing the game. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. I do have to remember, I gotta make, I have to craft the bandages. Both types. Oh, we took kind of a, kind of a shortcut to the pond. Sorta. is in here. We think it's at that other pond. Yeah, it's at the other pond. Okay. Juicy buck. Take you. All right, we're on the slope here, so maybe we can uh, lure this guy to a deer. Maybe. <laughs> Murd wants to stretch while I have a wolf on my butt. You did that on purpose because if I'm looking and it's early. The perfect time for this. Does everybody want me to do a stretch? So if I die, merge on the hook. That's a whole different list, by the way. That is not a, an idea that I thought is better than what I was doing. That's a whole separate list. That is a very poorly timed trying to kill him 
list. <laughs> That's the naughty list. <laughs> and in the long dark, you don't even get coal in your stocking for being naughty. You get Canadian money. Boink. Coal is too valuable in this. I'll give you some Canadian money. Alright, I'm gonna try it. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Thanks for that, Murd. You were testing to see if you could play another alert and surprise you. No, you weren't. <laughs> you were not. And you just accidentally clicked on the stretch. I'm not buying it. Ruby, Ruby plays me every day. You know what she does? If she, if she goes outside and does number one, she gets these little tiny little milk bones treats. And if she does number two, she gets a larger milk bone treat. Baked with peanut butter, I think, believe that these ones are. And she's learned that if she goes out and does both of them, She'll only get the big one. So now she'll go out in the morning and she'll, she'll, she'll just pee. And after I get all my coffee and everything, she's like, oh, wait, I have to go out again. <laughs> and to think when I first got this little girl, Compared to my Pomeranian, which was incredibly smart dog, I used to think Ruby was not a very smart dog. But she's, I believe, a lot smarter than I always thought. She's totally playing me. Because it's not even like it's happened once. It's been happening the past week. She's like refuses to go out and do both at the same time. Bunny. You go that way. I'm going to grab these sticks. Uh, it's... Unfortunately, it's too late. Did I pick up that other... Yeah, I did. Okay. Let's clean up after ourselves. Who did this? Like... I don't use torches. Who came into my game and started throwing torches all over the place? Oh. Could you imagine? A Monte Cristo with bacon instead of ham? Ah, whatever. Throw the ham on there too. good either way and who is this Monte Cristo that they created such an amazing sounding sandwich for him and used his name oh can we make it in I kind of in a bad spot to want to take this guy on to get inside oh hello vegetarian food close the door just to make sure 
And we got lots. We gotta have a bear hide here. Got to have one. Um, all right, let's break these down. Break that arrow down too. Break that one. And you know what? It's been a while, I think, since we've had a decent amount of vitamin C. Let's just eat that. Get rid of that piece. Um, what am I looking for? What am I looking at? Okay. MREs are up in there. I might drop these. Just so they can go hang out with the other ones. Oh, dang it. I got the other one sideways. I can't do this. Whatever. You can go there. You can go there. Uh, there might be some coffee in this place. I'm not sure if there is or not, but there might be some. There might be actually more than I thought. Oh my god. Uh, you know what? Let's go right in the middle of that plank. And then we'll move the T over to this one. Um... Uh, How, how, how do I have so much coffee and tea here? It's almost like this is my main central base. Uh, we'll drop all of you and we'll drop all of you because we do have more than enough on us. Uh, I just didn't drop these before because I thought, eh, I don't want to. I don't want to drop that one. Let's drop you. 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 Whatever. We'll keep that. Come on, give me green. Alright, there's some coffee here. Those are regular crampons. Oh, we have those. I think I... Uh, no, I th you're going to come back with us. When we go back into Mystery Lake, this stuff is coming with us. And what else do we have? We do have a bunch of sticks here. Uh, we don't have better books here. 169. Well, let's go to the basement and see what's down there. That's the that's an awful lot of coffee. I, I am not gonna lie. Aha! And we have one of you. Uh, let's make sure we're full. Uh, we're actually, surprisingly, we're not even overweight with this. Oh, damn it, it's the knife. Why? Why? I mean, it makes sense. Use the knife to poke holes for the, for the, the thread. Uh... 
I'm just I'm gonna go five hours. And just it's gonna give us what it's gonna give us, right? There we go. Uh I think I'm just gonna sleep here. I just need to be able to see where I'm putting my bedroll. Yes. Making a bear coat and not having to worry about cabin fever. That's a big deal. Because it's almost a certainty. I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to drink that. And it's not quite, oops. It's not going to let us, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. I'll do this right there. Go five hours. And it should be light enough. I'm not going to do the whole bear coat all in one go. I mean, how boring is that? That's that's 30 hours, right? If I'm right, I can't remember how many hours it takes to make one. But we're going to... 128. Let's take another one. Uh, let's just do that just so I don't have to worry about it. We'll take a, I think we'll take two pieces of this and let's go look. Oh, Damn, I missed by a mile. <laughs> that arrow is going to take some walking to find. <laughs> I'm assuming if I follow his footprints. Oh, okay. It's right there. All right. That's not that bad. Well, I'm going to run back. I figured I would break up the uh making of the coat boringness with uh going and grabbing some birch bark oh damn what did i uh what's food and water it's all good yeah we still have 22 or oh, 21 and a half hours left on it Well, at least we have lots of food and water here. That is a bonus. Uh, what is the time of day? It's got to be nighttime, right? Or close to. Yeah, it's too late. Uh, we'll just do that until it says we can't do that. And throw you down. We're going to wake up way early. We're not getting no 10 hours. We're getting like five or six. Actually, that's, uh, it's actually better than I thought we would get. All right, that should be fine. Let's just do this. I 
I think right about there. Then we can sleep. Drink up. We should go upstairs and get some more water. That's not going to fill us. Uh, forgive the darkness, but I can see where I'm going. Uh, it's almost as dark up here as it is in there. do that. I'm going to grab some meat just to make sure that I don't forget. Oh wait, why am I going? Yeah, I'm already here. I should have went around the corner and just came in through there. Workbench right there. 12 hours. Go six. There we go. And I'm going to try this time. Man, I could use a drink. I'm going to try this time to go out and get some birch bark. Wow, those bots are running wild today. Really, Hinterland? <laughs> what do we have for arrowheads? We have nine. You know what? Let's just, what the hell? Take the rest of them. I'm not going to finish the coat. I want more arrows. Sorry, I was sneezing there. That's why I double clicked on that again because I wasn't sure if I uh, had gotten completely full. Uh, what the hell? How many can we get? We can get nine. We're not, obviously, but whatever. It'll take us till nighttime. Uh, is there a law that says we can't get an Aurora so we can work through some of the night? Cause that would be cool. Um, how many arrows do we have? We have 32 and we still have four more to go. Oh, I should drink, eh? Well, same deal. We'll get a couple hours here. Is there any crates in here that I can break down instead of just passing time? I should pick up my bedroll so I don't forget it. There is. Um... Do that. I'd rather do this and accumulate a little bit of wood. I don't think. Well, I, oh, we can get the chairs without the hatchet as well. Beautiful. Um, what the hell? Let's get this one too. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, 
eat that. Drink that. All right, I want to see what this corner looks like. I don't think I've ever emptied this corner out. And look at that. It looks like a corner. And these boxes, these boxes suck because you can't. Uh, I don't know why they didn't just use like regular cardboard boxes that we can break down. I don't like those ones. Alright, we'll throw all this wood over here. Um, I'm going to back myself right into the corner. I got 19. Tis good. Tis good. Um, you know what? Let's take that. That'll be eight. Ooh, could you imagine if we got fire starting five off of this? Come Interland on. did that to Come annoy on. us. I know, right? It's like, hey, you can break down all these other things, but we're going to throw this stupid box that you can't break down, and we're going to make it so that it annoys you. Oh, yeah. That's oh, cool. yeah. Alright, so we need an hour 24. Oh, I have 31 sticks. That's perfect right there. And then we'll have 8 liters of water. Um, I don't need... Hey, 29. Oh, I needed meat, right? I'm taking advantage of this clear weather. Let's go. Go birch bark hunting. Look at that. 32 arrows. You know what I kind of want to do, but just shouldn't do? Here, come on, bud. Aha! Took you down. Come on, boy. Don't chicken out like your buddy. I, I kind of wanted them all in front of the house. Just so that one day we could come by and there's like a bunch of feathers there. But no wolf carcasses. I'm gonna get this guy. He's coming. Come on, boy. See, that little run, if you pull on him while he's doing that, he will continue in that run. I let you see that one up close. That was like a 3D arrow. Alright, let's go. Birch bark and we go. Get your counts in. Yeah, and when you do get those ones that you've uh, that you've drawn on while they're in that run, if they do zigzag, good luck. Copper says thirty-two. picks 23. What did you just reverse copper's numbers? <laughs> it's like he was sitting there calculating. All right, last time we found this many, the time before we found this many. Oh, she said 30. All right, 23. <laughs> All right, I got 29. That's what I'm saying.
And we have one. So. Whatever number we end up with minus one equals the winning number. He felt like there should be more than 13, so he had to come up with a different number. And lo and behold. Yeah, thir if I came out of here with 13, I would be a little disappointed. Well, does anybody remember what the most I've ever found was? Like 36 or something like that? I can't remember my high my high count on this one. My personal best. Is that a bear? Right there? What the hell is that? Okay, no, it's not. I thought I heard the bear. That's why I stopped in the first place. Okay, let's go. Let's go warm up first. What's the time of day? It's midday. We'll go warm up first and then we'll come out here. We'll just go run into the barn will read an hour of the book I thought I heard bear crows there for a second I don't trust this little area all right we should be fine We don't have anything here. That's beautiful. Well, we have that guy or girl, whatever that was. All right, uh, let's read an hour of you. And we'll eat and drink and go. Somewhere between 12 and 30. Yeah, I think the highest I found was somewhere in the 30s. Like maybe 34 or something. I don't remember. But. I think the best thing to do is to get rid of these wolves. That was my barrow. Oh, damn. There's one over there. There's one over there. Come on. Fall on you, bud. Come on. Do we have any more? That's off of one bar of scent. Like, what the heck? That was crazy. Uh, it's only minus six. It might still continue to warm up a little bit, which is good. Look at all that. Yeah, I'm I'm choosing my my typical 29, but I'm hoping to find more. All 
I don't hear anything. Still pretty quiet. Where's the bear? There's one. I'll grab a fistful of sticks too. Uh, you know what? Let's just walk back and forth this way. Please do not turn into a blizzard. Let me gather my birch bark and then you can blizzard while we're finishing the bear coat and those arrows. You get so focused on looking for the bark that you can forget that there might be a bear. I did that with the moose where I got a little bit too close. Because my concentration was somewhere else. Gotta check this little area. Nothing. when you're here until you have the bear and the moose down you have your flare gun out too many close calls it's not a it's not a bad idea too cold. I think. as I walk around with nothing out <laughs> uh Now we're walking into the wind. Now, should I just stop and make a fire and warm up? We gotta get over this way a little bit. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Look what we have here. There we go. I'm going to be disappointed if we walk out of here with like five or six. <laughs> I 
We should be able to find a lot. We haven't been here for a while. I'll take you. That's gotta be safety. Kinda. Not really. Is oh yes, perfect biting height <laughs> for a bear. All right. Should we go park ourselves inside the bear cave and warm up? I think it's that way. Or is it right in here? Maybe that's where the bear is. The bear's like, hey, it's too windy. I'm staying. I'm staying home. I still really wish. Yeah, sure, that's a great place to warm up the bear's cave for a bear who's currently active. <laughs> Come on, little fire. I think the fire is gonna keep him away from us. Or at least I hope it is. I'm gonna do that. Uh, I guess I shouldn't craft that until we look. We found eight so far. So if you guys can uh, remember eight. If anything big comes through there, we're in trouble. Oh! Uh. <laughs> it's like, noony, noony, noo. Somehow. <laughs> yeah, and it was at this moment. Well, we got another hour. Well, since the flare shot is right there, it means we didn't hit him. Which is kind of not true. I hit him. What is the time? Hmm. Well, we got to warm up. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, damn it. Okay, well, let's warm up one of these. Five minutes. I kind of wanted to take him down in here. There's no way I missed that shot. No way. We and All right. 
Well, we gotta continue on before he turns into a green bear. Or even just a night bear. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Let's, uh, let's go back. Let's just go back. He's coming, so we'll just chill out in here and wait for him. Oh, I forgot my pie. Give me that. I wonder... I did that on purpose. Aha! See? I can fix it after. But... By dropping them that way, I, I pick them up and they're unstacked. So now I got more scent. We have two bars of scent. Now yeah, what the hell? Let's just do that. How is uh, how's our fire starting coming? Real close. You can hear his footsteps. All right. Is it like last time he he just kind of turned around when he was at the mouth of the cave, right? So like it's unfortunate that he's not going to really come all the way in here. Come on, boy. That spook you had last time when you came home, that was a one-off. It'll, it'll never happen again. <laughs> come on, little bear. This is my impatience, right? It's like, uh, I've waited long enough. He must have changed his mind. I got lots of scent. What's he waiting for? Where did he go? Where did he go? There he is. What are you doing? I have people watching here, bud. Yeah. Come on, buddy. your fingers come on buddy it's everyone's dream to die in their own bed right I just want to make sure I don't walk on the fire just trying to help you out with your dreams bud let's go there you are. Turn. Come on. Yo. Oh, he's not going to come in here. I could probably hit him with an arrow. Is he gonna come in here? 
Yeah. Am I totally... Oh. He bluffed. And that shot didn't hit either. Ah, hinterland. Come on. Oh well, let's let's carry on. All right, so we had found eight pieces. That was very, very, very anticlimactic, and it just was a big fat waste of time. Yeah, that didn't go as planned. It's, I mean, it's the, the flare pistol for me has been near impossible to actually score a hit. It's, it, it's like it's been broken. I don't know if it's been broken or if I'm doing something wrong. I don't know what it is, but, um, I don't understand how, I mean, if I shoot this flare right now, it'll go way out there. But if the bear is here, it'll hit the bear. But the game will be like, nah, that wasn't a hit. So it'll drop the flare down here. Like, well, it hit the bear. It's a hit, right? I remember hitting them in the butt. So it's not even a matter of like, oh, well, maybe it needs to be a headshot. You could hit them in the butt and watch them run off with it. Uh, that was just a big, big old waste of time and a whole load of disappointment. What's the time? Uh... Wow, Murd might win. <laughs> we have eight and we have nine. Actually, technically that would have been seven and nine, right? Because we had one piece on us. So we had 16. All right, let's go. Is that another piece right there? That's true. I think I think the gun is like this flare gun is is it's not intended to kill them. But what I've said in the past is I'm okay with you making a change to something like this. Because obviously they, they changed it so you can't kill the moose with the flare pistol anymore. Um, I'm okay with that. But you can't not tell us that. It's just, it's a major douchebag move to, to change something like that's a major part of the game and not actually tell your players that everybody else tells you that you don't just leave it so that they they figure it out and they're like you know after six months or a year they all just decide okay i guess that's the way it is because it doesn't work that way because a lot of people will be wondering is this just a bug and that looks bad on you. Because now you look like a company that gets bugs and doesn't fix them. Which is why everybody will tell you when they make a major change to their game like that, that they made the change.
I, you know what though? I, I think Ooh. I, ooh, I thought I heard a growl when I was over there too. No lie, I was just too busy ranting too. <laughs> yeah, right over there I thought. Either way, I'm going back in here because we got to warm up. Oh, son of a. <laughs> that is a sleeping bear. <laughs> oh, my. Now, can I squeeze by him? I believe. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. The worst part is I have all that scent still. pots on me so I have to use this. Uh, we have a bunch of these. Oh my. Oh boy. you to remain warm there we go I believe I've jiggled you I don't want to put this away there we go I've jiggled you is that his head right there I gotta get up close Right there, that's his head, right? Hey, hey! That can't happen. Uh oh. I panicked when it happened. <laughs> Copper's being all positive. He didn't step in the fire, though. <laughs> Loss. Really? You made me drop a crow feather? Oh, damn. Let's do that because I have to actually remember I didn't make these. Oh boy. Oh, you ruined my snow pan and almost ruined you.
All right, we gotta go. I just gotta. We gotta go. That's bear nine, though, right? Uh, where do I go? Right there. Is he down? Is he bear nine or is he bear ten? Let's take that. He's right there. Yeah, we lost our snow pants, but we do have more snow pants. I don't know where. And on the brighter side, we have that. Feels like night is coming. Uh, drink that. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Good fight, bruh. Oh, he's 13% murd. Oh, no. All right, here's our final count. Uh, 19 and 8, that's 27, right? So we found 26. Because we had one, right? That's how that all worked. Oh, wait. Copper still might win here. That'd be 27, right? Wait a second. If I go in here, I might win. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. Is that seriously two wolves? Like, does the Aurora spawn wolves? Oh, man. Well, we got a bear. <laughs> Got to bear the hard way. That first arrow, I don't know if it hit like the the hitbox on the uh the bones. I wouldn't expect that they had a hitbox since you can't interact with them. But Yeah, that's right. We do need a spare bear hide for future Nifo to repair the bear coat. Although when by the time we come back here, we're not we're probably not actually going to be wearing it again. Why couldn't it Why why couldn't it ruin one of my expedition parkas? Instead of me snow pants. I know I have snow pants somewhere. I just don't know where they are. I can't feel my feet. Um, you know what? They might even be here. I never did really look over on that shelf by the cabinet. Uh, you know what? I'm going to drink a coffee because our condition is low as is. And I don't want any of those meters full red.
You think maybe in Timberwolf Mountain? Actually, that's a pretty good guess. This is so cold. If you're truly guessing, because. Probably brought him from the crash site. The summit. Alright, these wolves should all be down. It was kind of the point of fighting them all was to make sure that we had a safe journey back. Yeah, that's true. This bear isn't down. So yeah, my 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 thought with that bear was if I get a headshot on him while he's sleeping, that should insta kill him, right? Cuz he doesn't know about us. It's a headshot. But, yeah, I just, I, I panicked once, uh, once it looked like he was coming at us, I thought, like, I was kind of in panic, but also a bit of confusion as to what actually he was going to do. And I don't think I would have had enough time to pull out the flare pistol anyway. Um... We got water. I'm not sure I can carry much more. You know what I'm gonna do. Whoops. I'm gonna make some more water. Uh I might make some more birch bark too. Come on, little fire. We need an hour 42, an hour 24, sorry. Ah, what the hell, I'm not gonna go with the birch bark. Uh, there's a bed roll. I'm gonna sleep in the bed just in case the actual bed is better. I, I don't know. I don't know if a bed roll gives the same condition. Oh, hey. Play that funky music. Please? <laughs> I just, I, I do think, I, I, like I said, I don't know. Oh, wait, I got to go look for, let's shut this off. We should be able to see, right? Well, we can kind of see. All right, let's use this. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know that a bed gives better condition recovery. Aha, look at that. And what else did we ruin? You know what? We... Oh boy, we just both lost Coach's boots. Okay, those are not in danger anymore. Where's the cabinet? Is there a please be leather? Oh, there's no leather. But there is some of you. I'm going to keep these for now. We can't repair these. Oh no, coach, you're going to not like me when those ruin. They're at 8%. Uh, well.
Oh, damn. I didn't even notice that. Aha, there we go. Thanks, Bird. Aha. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. We have leather. We have leather. Now we only have three. I have to put a repair on these boots. So tired. I could lay down right here. There, those boots are at least good enough for now. I'm just going to drop those for now. You think all the leathers in Timberwolf Mountain? Yeah, because we had, yeah. Well, we're going to have to add Timberwolf Mountain to our list of places that we got to go. Uh, the good thing is we now have enough room to get one of those down. Um, let's fill it up. Actually, hold on. Uh, let's get our food rate full too. You think Murd won the birch bark as well? We have 28. Is that how that works? 28. 27. Yeah, we had 27. Yeah. And Murd had 23 is what it chose. Price is right rules. You are closer. I gotta not do that. Okay, we're good. Alright, so I think uh, we'll end this here. So for those of you on YouTube, if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. And I will see you all tomorrow.